What's up, everybody? David from Produ Flippers. Uh, today, I'm just going to kind of give you an update video, kind of tell you what we've been going on in the, for the past couple of months and kind of talk about uh, our numbers for the last couple of months also. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so it's been a couple months since we've uh, uploaded any videos. We've been busy. Uh, I'll kind of just kind of give you a quick update about uh, why we haven't been doing YouTube and what we've been up to the past couple months. So uh, this year so far, we've kind of out spent a lot of money. Uh, I had my eye surgery done. I spent about $4,000 on that. Uh, a quick update on that. I can see great now. The only problem is that my reading vision is not so good now. So uh, it's getting really difficult to read anything up close without reading glasses. But uh, no more contacts. I can see pretty much 2020 with, uh, without any kind of aid. So that's cool. Anyway, I spent about $4,000 on that out of pocket and, uh, we paid a couple thousand dollars in state taxes. I will probably be doing, uh, in the near future, a video just about taxes for reselling, uh, just kind of a general, our experience with taxes, uh, for reselling and what we've been up to with that. Um, we have paid our accountant to set up, uh, some business structure for us. That was probably five or $600. Um, we spent a couple, a couple thousand dollars on some car repairs lately. And, uh, we also bought my daughter a car. I paid for half of it. My ex-wife paid for the other half of it. Um, and we went on, we went to California a couple of times, so just some short vacations. So anyway, I would say probably we spent $10,000 in the past few months and that kind of has, uh, had depleted our savings and even gotten us into using our credit cards a little bit. Uh, for a couple thousand dollars as we were counting on you know uh, our federal tax return as well as an amended federal tax return refund and as well as the third stimulus and we hadn't seen any of that so uh things got a little bit stressful here i haven't been used to um having to be careful with our money at all so uh, like i said our, our savings is depleted so i kind of cut back a little bit on sourcing or at least the way i was sourcing and we've been focused on really getting our listings up and so that's the main driver for why we haven't posted a video in a couple months so anyway i i'm glad to say that um things are better now we've got our listings up our sales are starting to come up um and We've got uh, our credit cards paid back off and a little bit of money in savings. And so things are looking better. So now uh, I feel a little more relaxed and feel like I can spend a little time maybe putting up a, a few YouTube videos. But anyway, this will be an update. So I will go ahead and talk to you, kind of show you our numbers for the past couple of months and talk about that and and maybe a little bit about why, why the numbers are what they are or whatever. So here we go with that. Okay, so we will start off with this tab on the spreadsheet. Um, as always, this spreadsheet is available for sale. There will be a link in the description if you're interested in tracking your numbers for eBay or Amazon, Poshmark, local, or et cetera, if you want to modify it for whatever platform you want to do. Um, but it's $9. If you, want to, if you want to check out the description of this video, there will be a link to purchase it. Uh, anyway, so looking here I and I'm pretty much going to quit talking about Amazon or Poshmark or local for my sales because they're just turning to be pretty insignificant we're really putting no work there especially Amazon and Poshmark we will sporadically put a few things on 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 for sale on Facebook marketplace and make a little bit of money there but our focus our focus right now is on eBay and growing our eBay so um, as I mentioned uh, as I mentioned earlier talking a little bit about updated with us uh, Money got a little bit tight for us. Not really tight, but it's just not used to having to watch what we spend or anything. So, um, and as you can see, our sales that were declining at, from the start of this year, we did 17,000 in January, 14,000 in February, and didn't quite hit 13,000 for March. And, and that's kind of where we felt the pinch. And I think the last video I did was in the middle of March for YouTube. And so now, um, we, we kind of made the decision that we really need to ramp up our listings. At the time, we were right around 1,550 listings or so. Um, but I'll talk a little bit more about the why of what we've done after I kind of show you the spreadsheet. So this is how we're looking for the past few months. So like I said, January 17,000, February 14,000, March was right around 13,000. April was a little better, 14,6, and May is doing a little bit better still. It is the 20th, so we still have... 11 days left and we are at about 11,000. So I'm anticipating at least 15,000, maybe as much as 17,000, um, depending on how we 
how we can keep things going there. So if you compare that to last year, last year, April and May were crazy because of that's first when the sh everything shut down for COVID. And so we had real, two really strong months. Uh, so if we can get to 16 or 17,000 this year, I'll be pretty happy with that. If you compare that to 2019, we are going to be almost double. Um, and that's back when I was working by myself without my wife helping me. So that makes sense. Um, and anyway, I, I, I think that things are going pretty well. We're back on track. We're growing again. Sales are starting to pick up. I'll talk about some things that we did that maybe helped that as well too. But just wanted to show you the numbers first. So that's this this tab. Just showing you the monthly totals there. It looks like we're just shy of 70,000 so far in sales on eBay for the year. Um, we'll go over to this tab and I can kind of show you a little bit more detail about the numbers have sold. We're right around just over 400 a month items for, that we're selling. Um, this month probably will be a little bit higher. And I'm expecting this, again, the sales to be a little bit higher this month. Our average sale price is in the just over $30 basically uh, for the year is at $34.46, which is not too bad. And this is kind of what I want to show you is the, is the amount of listings we've started with each month. So we were kind of flattened out there for a while and we're kind of just listing as much as we were selling. And so we were just over 1500 at the start of January, February and March. And then, like I said, in March, you know, we started listing, getting more listings up. And so you can see at the start of April, we had 1630, the start of May, we had 1803 and, um, currently we are over 1900 and so and really reaching to be at 2000 listings for the start of june um, i'm not sure if we'll, that'll happen or not um, our, our our son is graduating and we have family coming in next week he's graduating from high school so uh we might slow down with the listing a little bit we have also slowed down the past uh almost the past week but i'm hoping we can get back on track with that and and push this up to 2000 to start june that would be great um, and then our goal would probably be around 2300 or 2400 possibly by the start of fourth quarter so that we could really have a, a strong finish to this year. Um, but that's really all I wanted to show you. If you compare uh, the, our level of listings uh, to, to last year, uh, the start of May we we're at 1800. The start of May for 2020 we were at you know almost 1400. So uh, significant jump up. And if you look at 20. 20 going throughout the rest of the year we really didn't up our listings in fact they dropped for a little while and then upped a little bit back in uh at the end of the year the last couple months um so hoping to be significantly higher for the end of this year and hopefully um be reaching our goal of two hundred twenty thousand dollars in sales for all platforms i think i think that was for all platforms or maybe it was just for ebay but anyway uh, we're on track to, we're doing fairly well with our with our goals this year and hoping to continue to do that so We'll see, but I, so that's the that's the numbers. Just wanted to show you those uh, actually on the actual spreadsheet, um, and then I'll just kind of give you kind of talk about what we've been up to as far as uh, why our sales have been what, what they have or what we've been, things we've been trying to increase our sales. Okay, and I just wanted to show you one more thing. I guess going to show you my actual eBay seller hub page so that you could see um, that it's not just numbers. I'm fake numbers. I'm putting into a spreadsheet. I guess for the, for those of you who might you know question. Uh, whether I'm really getting that or not. Um, you can see our sales so far today are at like $200. Um, kind of not too great yet. Hopefully the, the afternoon picks up. We're at, it's about three o'clock right now. And the last week or so, uh, maybe by the end of this day, we'll be at about 5,000 for the past week. It's been a pretty good week. And the last month, last 31 days, about 17,000. So these numbers do include uh, shipping and also your sales tax. So a little overinflated there, but uh, basically that kind of just shows you you know what we're actually selling and if you look at the graph here i mean just all over the place that's typical like right you know highs lows up and down uh, we had one day here that was pretty good that was thirteen hundred dollars um and i'll talk about why we've had some bigger days here in the past week and a half or so uh coming up right now all right so that's kind of a look at our numbers so basically we've did about uh thirteen thousand or so in march fourteen five or so in april and i think we're on track to maybe do sixteen thousand or so for may so trending up back up which is nice um 
And I kind of talked for a minute just about why I think our numbers are going up. I was a little bit frustrated for a little bit there in March because we had started to push our numbers up for listings and weren't really seeing a big jump in, in sales like I would have seen. So we're doing a couple different things. We are putting listing up a lot more stuff. However, we have been listing a lot of um, media type stuff. So a lot of books and DVDs and uh, cassette, cassette tapes. Uh, I had a collection of those that we put up. Um, just some things that maybe uh, uh, one for aren't going to sell for a, for a real high price and two maybe some of those are going to take longer to sell because you know especially like the books or so something but uh, so uh, while our listings were jumping up our sales weren't exactly jumping up you know equ equally because we were listing some stuff that maybe wasn't going to sell as fast and also some lower price items but so that's that's one thing I was a little bit frustrated about but um, the other thing is, I, you know, so I have been sending offers. I, I, I utilize that tool that eBay provides quite a bit. So when you have listings that are eligible to send offers, I do that quite a bit. Um, so I, I will typically send like maybe, maybe like a five or ten percent off offer to those people, and I think that I get quite a few sales from that, quite a few extra sales from that maybe. Um, just because you're catching people when they are very interested if they've just started watching something or they're you know They're currently looking at it or they looked at it a couple of times and then you send them an offer For something they were considering anyway a little bit cheaper. They feel like they're getting a deal So maybe they're taking advantage of that. So that's one thing that we're doing. The other thing that we're doing is um, For the first time ever it's been a lot of years I've been selling on eBay 20 plus years, but I have never used just promoted listings and the reason I kind of I kind of said I wouldn't use promoted listings was I feel like if you have the right items and you price them right, you have good listings that they're going to sell anyway. And for the most part, I think that's probably true. But, you know, eBay is, is, has become very, very competitive. So there's a lot of other people out there with great, you know, similar great items and great prices and great listings. And so um, whatever you can do to maybe give yourself a, an advantage, maybe will pay off. So uh, it's been two weeks or so since I started, uh, I, I tried promoted listings the first time I... I, I've just been promoting all my listings, just bulk, bulk prom promoting them all equally. So, um, just to get, just to try it out. The first time I did it, I tried it at five percent. Um, I didn't see a huge increase in sales, but what I did see was a little bit of increase in sales and a surprising amount. It seemed like almost half my sales that did come in were from promoted listings. So I thought that was kind of odd or strange that uh, I wasn't really selling a whole lot more. But all of a sudden, half my listing, half my sales were from promoted listings. So, I think that probably what happens is that items that we're going to sell anyway now are selling through promoted listings, um, and then I think some additional sales are coming. So I had been averaging about 15 a day, and it seemed like when I did that first promotion, they jumped to about 19 or a day or something like that. So. I did that only for three days for like a weekend. I know that's not a, a, a good trial or, or anything to figure out if that's really going to be beneficial for me, but it's just something I wanted to try. Uh, then I took a few days off. I had one one low day and then I went back into uh, promoted listings and, and ran a second campaign. This time I tried it at only 2% and I had similar results as the 5%. So I was kind of happy with that. Uh, and so basically that means the way promoted listings work is, is, is it just kind of makes your listings show up in people's searches more often. So, and if they happen to purchase it after clicking on one of the promoted listings that's showing rather than just a regular one where maybe they had searched by price or something and then yours showed up in order of the price. Um, if they click on one that was an actual promoted listing, you know, then you have to pay that percentage extra in fees. So basically, if something sold for $100 um, and they clicked, they had bought it through promoted listings, then it would cost you an extra 5%. So that would be an extra $5. Uh, but what I was finding that was a lot of lower price items were selling. So uh, it wasn't really costing me that much money, but it was getting me some extra in sales. So anyway, I tried the 2% for the next weekend and I had similar results as the first time but this time I only had to pay 2% instead of 5%. And then as soon as that one ended, like the next day, I started a new campaign for a week, and that's what I'm currently in until the end of this weekend at 1%. And it seems like not quite as good as the 2% or the 5%, but still sales are coming in pretty good. So um, anyway, I think the promoted listings is definitely helping. Um, it might be something that I will do in the future. It probably will be something new in the future, maybe even at least 1% all the time 
just because, I mean, if you look at the amount of impressions where uh, people are actually seeing your listing, not actually clicking on them, but actually seeing your listings, it's, it's drastically higher. So um, I, I think that it definitely helps your items become more visible and leads to more sales. So I will probably continue with that. Uh, the other thing that we're doing, I think that's getting our sales dollars numbers up is we've been listing some higher price items. So um, even if it means spending some money, like recently at the auction, I bought uh, four total gems that were still new in the box. Uh, I paid 110 or so average on the for the price uh, average price for those, and they sold for like 350. $350 basically. Uh, they did cost a lot to ship, but they, uh, I think three of them cost right around 90 and one cost around 65 or something like that. And so, I, but I profited basically like $100 off of each one and all four of them sold within a week. So that was, and very little effort. I mean, I pretty much had to load them into my truck, loading them into my garage, loading them back in my truck to take to FedEx. And that's, that's really all the work that it took to list those and sell those. So uh, just trying to find some higher price stuff uh, so that, you know, same, same amount of work and more profit but anyway uh that's kind of it that's all we're kind of doing um sorry it's been so long since we made any videos i think that's just how it's going to be for us sometimes it's like uh, w when we feel like we really need to focus on our reselling and get our numbers up and grow our reselling business that youtube is going to suffer for a little bit um just don't make very much money at all doing youtube so it's hard to justify spending a couple hours to make a video where you think that you're maybe only going to make ten dollars or twenty dollars for that video or something when you know if you put an hour or two into reselling you're going to make i don't know don't really I haven't really calculated what we make per hour i would thinking more like we make forty dollars per hour or plus or so each so uh just hard to justify uh so anyway um, look for look forward to some look forward to some more videos coming out though I, I want to want make one that talks about taxes for reselling just our experience on it not exactly specific tax advice for you other than go talk to your CPA but our experiences on, on mistakes that we might have made or our good moves that we made so I'm gonna make one on that um, and I don't know what else but we'll see we'll see what's coming up anyway if you guys have any questions or comments please follow below again if you if you're interested in the spreadsheet it's only nine dollars. Um, I've sold quite a few of those, you know, I think they've been pretty helpful for people. I've had um, all positive feedback on that. So uh, follow us on Instagram, Pro Duo Flippers there. Uh, if you get, like I said, questions or comments, leave them in the, leave them in the comments. I will, I will respond to them if you have any questions. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe. That really helps me, motivate me to keep doing these videos. And until uh, next time, thanks.